Oral contraception pills work in a lot of different ways. First of all, most kinds prevent you from ovulating, which is when your body releases an egg that could potentially be fertilized by sperm. But your body also affects the endometrium or layer in the uterus where an egg would settle if it was fertilized. It also affects cervical mucus, which makes it harder for sperm to get to the egg. And so there's lots of different ways that um, these pills work. But basically, women can get pregnant on the pill if they don't take it at just the right time to prevent ovulation. So basically what I'm saying is once you stop taking the pill, you can get pregnant anytime. It usually does take women a couple of months just because that's normal. It takes most couples about six months on average to get pregnant without using, you know, assu assuming that they're not using any form of contraception. So definitely it is possible for you to get pregnant even though you're not bleeding or actually seeing that you're having a period. As long as your body's ovulating or releasing that egg, then you can get pregnant. Um, some women actually find out they're pregnant, but they haven't had a period for a while and have no idea how far along they are because they haven't been able to track their cycles. And so it's just very important to go to the doctor as soon as you find out you're pregnant and they can help figure out what your dates are, how far along you are, and make sure that all is well. Now, the fact that you're not having regular periods yet does make it a little less likely that you're ovulating, but you could still be. Um, it would be best to follow your doctor's advice, just wait a little bit longer and see if your body starts to return to normal. And in the meantime, since you're trying to get pregnant, be sure you're taking a prenatal vitamin every day that has at least 400 micrograms of folic acid in it, that you're avoiding all alcohol, drugs, and tobacco products, and talk to your doctor about any and all prescription medications that you take regularly, any over-the-counter medication that you may take regu regularly, or even just occasionally. For example, ibuprofen for cramping should not be taken during pregnancy. And then some people um, are taking herbal supplements that aren't okay with pregnancy. So check with your doctor before you take anything and just think twice before you put anything in your mouth. Also make sure you're at a proper body weight. Um, this decreases the chances of both you and the baby having complications during pregnancy. So if you want to find out what your BMI is or body mass index, you can go to babyyourbaby.org. Click on pregnancy and then there's a before pregnancy link and a preconception health link. And once you've found that, there will be a BMI calculator where you can plug in your weight and height and decide um, you'll be given a number and you want that number to be somewhere between 18 and 24. And once you're at that point, you're at a good place to be before you, before you get pregnant. So ask your doctor if you have any other specific questions about your situation, but if you have any other questions for me, I'd love to help you out. Feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.